Hmm. There should be something I can make with this thing. But uh, what can I use? I don't know. I don't know what I can use that for. Must be something though. Welcome back to Pine City Apri. Well, today we're going to start on a project. Um, we're going to make beeswax candles. And uh, we're going to use this empty can as our mold. And uh, we've got wick, of course, we got wax. And um, I'll show you how we did it. This candle here is one that my father and I and my wife, we made back in like in 1985 or so and it uh, was done similarly it was with a, a pop can a soda pop can and uh, we did the basically the same thing I'm going to show you here so let's get into it all right so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a hole in the center of the can on the bottom All right, so now we got a hole drilled in the can. The next step in, then is going to be feeding a wick. We've got a spool of wicking material. We'll just feed that through the hole until it comes out the other side. All right, so there's the wick that's been pulled through. Um, I left myself a lot of extra and uh, what I'm going to do right now is just tie it off to this. It's not centered yet. And the next step then is go going to be add wax. All right the next step then is to add the wax but before I did that and I did this off camera I put a piece of tape um, on the bottom of the can uh, to help prevent the wax from leaking through the hole for the wick and um, I took a tin snip and I cut the uh, top a little bit just so I could get the uh, wick down the middle um, and also it gives me a little bit of a bigger hole in which to uh, pour the wax. Um, off camera I did try to pour the wax directly from a, the little crock pot thingy but um, yeah, that wasn't gonna work. It was very hot and it also uh, would spill all over. So the wife gave me uh, an old ladle and uh, I have claimed that now as my own. So I'm using a ladle. I did not count how many scoops um, of wax that I put in. Um, I did find that using about a half a ladle work best for me um, otherwise it would just spill all over and uh, I melted about a pound not quite a pound of wax and it pretty much took the entire pound to bring this can up to uh, the level that we wanted for this project I ordered candle wick and actually some candle um, wax tint um, through Amazon and I'm going to put the links of the items that I used down in my description so if uh, you want to try this project you can find them there all right we got the wax up to the level that we want in the can we don't bring it all the way up because uh, we need a little room in there to cut that top off and peel back the aluminum and um, now the next step then is to um, I used a a closed pen but you can use anything that spans the across the top of the can and uh, you want to connect the wick to that and center the wick uh, through the middle of the can. All right now we're going to try the big can or the tall cans. Whoops, tried to get greedy.
Yeah, it's leaking pretty good. I'm not awful. It'll work. Okay, at this point I've got a problem. I have liquid hot wax leaking all over the place trying to uh, run off the table. Um, I do have wax paper down uh, just in case something like this would have happened. So now I'm all in stop the uh, river of lava wax. I'm going to set the uh, the little crock pot thingy back in the uh, in the appliance so that it can keep getting warm. And uh, I guess at this point I've got to clean up all the leaking wax and uh, remelt it. Damn, it's still leaking pretty bad. If I had left it alone. Uh, the wax was starting to set a little bit, so there is a potential that it would have stopped leaking because it would have run up against uh, cooler wax. Um, but by moving it, I just started the process all over again. Okay, I added a, uh, another layer of tape, hoping that uh, that'll work. I would prefer to have been using duct tape, but I don't have any duct tape. So this is what I got, this is what I'm going to use. So hopefully now we can get uh, wax in here without leaking. I'm going to have to let this other one cool down completely and uh, figure out what I want to do with it. Okay, we're going to try again uh, with the other tall can. And uh, this time we've got the double taping so hopefully it won't leak. But if we do see leaking we are going to stop right away. So we'll just do a little bit here and you have to remember if you're doing this and you're working with hot wax that it is hot and it can burn you so you need to be careful on that and we got leaking so we're gonna stop and uh, not do any more I gotta figure out a different way. I don't like that clear tape. Although it worked fine for the green sprite can. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. We, uh, this is the first one that failed. We took and we really beefed up the tape on the bottom and uh, got to go through multiple layers now and uh, my dipper is getting so thick with wax that 
might need to scrape it off. All right, so far no leaking. A lot of spilling, and that's because this is so thick. All right, I'm going to show you uh, how I hopefully fix that problem. Um, this is the one we just tried and failed on. Um, what I'm going to do is just tape the heck out of it. I'm going to go for multiple directions. Okay, it could still leak out of these corners. So, what I'm going to do now is go one around the side. And that should seal off the corners, but I'm going to do the same process again. Um, this time, try to go the opposite of the way that I went last time, so that the corners are in a different spot. That's what I did on the one there that seemed like it worked. I also took the wick and with the wax kind of poked it in a little hole a little bit. Um, hopefully that'll help seal it up a little bit more. Um, before when we did this with my folks we used duct tape and duct tape held. This is just plastic packaging tape. All right. So now we got to do some more melting and then we can try filling up this one as well.